Hello everyone. So today we will try to learn about what are futures in the stock market. Now this particular episode is relevant for CA final SFM also. I will try to explain with the help of a diagrammatic format. So today being the first episode of this series which is purely going to be dedicated for learning about stock market. So now I have taken one example. Futures contract which is a zero sum game. What is a zero sum game? Zero sum game means at the end of the contract if one person is earning a profit the same amount of loss will be incurred by another person. So hence at the end of the day zero sum game that is uh, profits of one person will be equal to loss of another person. We will try to discuss how a future is being traded in stock market. So now for that I have taken a very illusionary example. Let us understand what is Disha Patani as you all are aware who is she. Disha Patani she wants to buy ITC. ITC is a company which is predominantly based on FMCG and tobacco. Now she wants to buy ITC not today but she wants to buy for the month of June. Now she thinks that futures today as she feels the share price will go up to 250 rupees till June. Now she wants to buy ITC in June but she thinks that the share price will go up to rupees 250 till June. We did not know what is today's price. Slowly I will be discussing everything. Hence she wants to buy one lot of June futures today at rupees 205. Okay. So what is Disha, Disha Patani thinking? The futures of uh, the future price of ITC limited will go up hence she wants to buy it today so that whenever it is going to rupees 250 she will sell the shares yeah in the month of June. Now here I am Akash now he feels that ITC share price in June will fall down to rupees 150. He is of the opposite view he thinks that ITC share price will come down to 150 rupees in the month of June. So hence he wants to sell one lot of June futures. So in this particular case Disha will want to buy ITC June futures because she thinks that in the month of June ITC, ITC share price will go up to rupees 250 and Akash wants to sell today at the rate of 205 rupees. Why? Because he thinks that the share price will come down to 150 rupees. Now let us know what is ITC limited and what is the share price of ITC limited today. ITC spot price as on today, today let us assume it is April 1st is rupees 200. Yeah, it is trading at rupees 200 in the spot market. And there is one more price that is the future price. I will also take a practical example of futures and let you know. But then as of today, the future price is at rupees 205 rupees per share. Okay. So today's future price for June 30, that is if someone wants to buy the futures which will expire on June 30, he will have to either buy or sell at the rate of 205. 200 is only the spot price. Yeah. Now there is something called as lot size of ITC, which is I have taken as example 3000. Now whenever you trade in a future contract, minimum number of shares has to be bought or sold. That minimum number of shares is 3000 for ITC in my example. Practically in the stock market, one lot of ITC is 2400 shares. I will show you that pretty soon. But then to enter into this June futures contract, one must buy or sell a minimum of 3000 shares. So can I buy 5000 shares? The answer is no. It can either be 3000 or in the multiples of 3000. For example, two lots, two lots of ITC will mean that 6000 shares has to be either bought or sold. Done. Now total value is coming to around 6,15,000 rupees. So that minimum if you want to buy or sell a future contract, the value of shares of ITC is coming to around 6,15. How did that come? June futures price is 205 multiplied by 3000. Hence the total value is coming to 
सिक्स लैख फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड सो दैट वॉज दी फर्स्ट पार्ट दिस इज बेसिकली अ स्टोरी बुक अ प्रोडक्ट विच इज मेंट फॉर सी ए फाइनल एस एफ एम स्टूडेंट सो फर्स्ट पार्ट इज डन नाउ लेट एस सी दिस सेकेंड पार्ट हाउ विल दिशा पटानी बाई दी आई टी सी जून फ्यूचर्स बेसिकली थ्रू एन एस सी नेशनल स्टॉक एक्सचेंज थ्रू विच वी कैन बाई और सेल दी फ्यूचर्स There is another major stock exchange called Bombay Stock Exchange, but in my example, I have taken only National Stock Exchange. Now, National Stock Exchange will tell Disha Patani to pay me initial margin. Now, this margin is nothing but a security deposit made with the stock exchange. Security deposit of how much they are asking for? One lakh twenty-five thousand. Now, this one lakh twenty-five thousand, Disha has to deposit to whom? To the stock exchange, so that. She doesn't cheat Akash, correct? So now this was the second step. Same way, National Stock Exchange will also ask for security deposit, which is known as initial margin from Akash. How much? The same amount of one lakh twenty-five thousand. So now this is the initial criteria of a futures, where one person, if she is thinking that the share price will go up, she'll be willing to buy today, and the other person who is thinking that the share price will come down. He will be willing to sell today, so that when the share price is at rupees say one fifty, he will buy it back and make a profit of fifty five rupees. Sir, how fifty five rupees? He sold at two hundred and five, and when the share price went down to fifty one fifty, he bought it at one fifty. So the difference is fifty five rupees per share. Now fifty five rupees is per share. Total, he will be earning around into three thousand shares. So this comes to around one lakh sixty five thousand. Guys, future is a very dangerous derivative contract where the amount of profits and loss can run into thousands easily. In fact, it can also go into lakhs during the times of volatility, like how it is being traded in the few past few weeks during the coronavirus. Okay, now the third step. Okay, so today was April one. We have B na one is Disha who has bought June futures. The other one is Akash who has sold June futures. Now on May first, till May first, Disha lost around rupees ninety thousand from her initial margin. Okay, so ninety thousand would have been debited from her trading account. Now, if you are not aware about the trading account, I'll be uploading videos subsequently where I'll also try to make you understand what is a trading account, what is a demat account. But as of now. Till first of May, Disha has lost how much? Ninety thousand. And if Disha has lost ninety thousand, the same gain will happen to Akash, and the same ninety thousand will be credited to his trading account. Sir, how can we arrive at this figure ninety thousand? Basically, three thousand into thirty rupees will give you ninety thousand. Correct. So can I tell if today's price is two zero five, when will Disha lose money? If the share price is going down, correct? Because she has bought it at two hundred five rupees. So can I tell if the share price, if it is changing from two hundred and five to rupees one eighty five? Sorry, it should be one seventy five. So if the share price of ITC goes down till one seventy five rupees, Disha will lose how much? Ninety thousand rupees, and the same amount of profit will be there for Akash. Why it is there for Akash? Because Akash has sold the futures at two hundred and five rupees. Now, if the share price or the future price has come down to one seventy five, Akash, in order to get out of this futures contract, will be willing to buy at one seventy five. Earlier, he sold at two hundred and five. Today, that is on first of May, he will be willing to buy futures of ITC at one hundred and seventy five. Done. So, if he is buying at one hundred and seventy-five, can I tell he will make a profit of thirty rupees per future contract or per future share into three thousand shares will give him a total of ninety thousand rupees. Okay. So, hence ninety thousand was created. Now, Disha doesn't want to exit this contract. Why? Because she doesn't want to end up losing ninety thousand rupees. So, Akash is now going to search for another potential seller. Another potential seller. Why Akash wants to buy now? Why will Akash want to buy? Because earlier he has sold. So today only if he is buying, he can make profit. Now there is another person named Tiger Shroff. 
So Tiger Shroff is coming in this contract. He wants to sell the future today at the rate of 175 because today is 1st May. The market futures price today is 175. So he will sell at 175. Why will he sell? Because on 1st of May, Tiger wanted to sell the shares as he expected. As he expected, the share price will go down to 150 rupees. So he is expecting now that the share price will go down to 150 rupees. Hence, he want to sell the futures so that whenever the share price is going to 150, he can make the profit of 25 rupees per share. Today, the price is 175. If he is selling at 175, buying again at 150, what he is expecting today, it will go down to 150. So if he is buying at 150, in that case, he will make a profit of 25 rupees per share. And the minimum lot is 3000. So total profit of 75,000 rupees. Correct. So hence he sold futures to Akash. So now Tiger has sold futures and Akash has bought futures from Tiger. So in this scenario, Akash has now exited from this futures contract. How? Because earlier he sold, now he has bought. So he is no more relevant to this futures contract. He took the profit of 90,000 rupees and he went home okay now tiger has sold it for 175 rupees done so till now we have seen three steps let us go for the final step that is on the expiry date of june 30 on june 30 share price increased to 200 rupees again so now guys the share price has now increased if the share price has increased tiger has to buy because june 30 was the deadline on that and on that particular date Whatever is the position, you have to close the position. Close the position in the sense, if Tiger has sold earlier, he has to now buy. And if Disha has bought earlier, she has to now to sell. She has to sell now. Okay. Now, can I tell Tiger has to buy to exit this contract? And Disha has to sell to exit this contract. In this particular scenario, who is gaining? Guys, remember, Tiger has sold the futures at 175. Today he is buying back again at 200 rupees. So can I tell his expectation went wrong. It did not reach 150. In fact, it went reverse. That is it went to 200 again. So can I tell in this case, Tiger has made a loss of 25 rupees per share of 25 rupees per share. Correct. And Disha, Disha has to sell at 200. So in this case, even Disha has made a loss of rupees 5 per share. How sir 5? Because Disha bought it at 205 earlier on 1st of April. Today she has sold at 200. So 5 rupees per share. So total loss for Disha is 15,000 rupees. 5 rupees per share into 3,000 shares will come to around 15,000 rupees. Okay. So at the end of the day, Disha earlier she had paid around 90,000 rupees to Akash. Correct? So 90,000 was a loss registered by Disha on May 1st. Now on June 30th, she has received from Tiger. How much she has received? She has received around 75,000 rupees. So can I tell on a whole for Disha, minus 90,000 was a loss given to Akash and 75,000 is the profit which she has made from Tiger. So net loss will be around 15,000 for Disha. Now let us come to the viewpoint of Tiger. Tiger has obviously lost 75,000 because he has given 75,000 rupees to, to Disha. And from the viewpoint of Akash, he has gained around 90,000 rupees. So if you compare all the three uh, people who are involved in this futures, you will find that the total will come to zero. Gain 90,000 to Akash, correct? Loss of 75,000 to Tiger and loss of 15,000 to Disha. So 90 minus 75 minus 15 comes to zero, correct? So at the end of the day, futures contract is a zero sum game, right? Now, let me go through the NSE website. I have just gone to the NSE website. I have uh, chosen equity derivatives in this and I have typed ITC, ITC limited. If you have seen here, today the current Futures price is 185.70. The expiry date is 25th of June. Yeah, ITC stock futures. And the lot size, the market lot is around 2400. So this is how you can also go and view 
from NSC website regarding the futures data. Done. So that's it for the learning about the futures. This is how a futures contract is being traded. That's it for today guys. Hope you all enjoyed learning about the futures. Thank you. Bye-bye.